Hi, Michelle Glass here. Welcome back to another one of our Chapter 5 episodes. We are still working on the integumentary system, and our job here is to look at glands. When we talk about the integumentary system, remember it includes the cutaneous membrane or skin, hair, nails, and glands. And for glands, it's going to include both sebaceous and sweat glands. But the topic for this video will be the sebaceous glands first. The sebaceous glands are associated with hair follicles. Um, so we already saw it in our diagram here from the textbook where we have our sebaceous gland with our hair follicle and then you have that erector pili muscle right beside. Remember we already said when the erector pili muscle contracts, it's going to squeeze that um, sebum into the hair follicle and that then can lubricate the hair shaft as well as the stratum corneum. We've already talked a little bit about sebum. So remember, it's a real um, oily lipid secretion. We've said it's associated with hair follicles. That lipid secretion is going to provide some um, water resistance. So if you have that lipid layer over top of your skin, you're less likely to lose water across the surface or gain extra water. And also both the hair shaft and the stratum corneum are made from those dry, highly keratinized cells that can crack, um, breaking the um, integrity of that physical barrier. And by keeping it nice and oiled, then you're reducing um, the threat of cracks and damage to that barrier. The sebum itself is um, a mixture of triglycerides, cholesterol, so those are both lipids, proteins, and electrolytes. It's going to have several jobs, which we've described some already. One um, that we haven't talked about is the inhibition of bacterial growth. So in addition to protecting the integrity of the stratum corneum and the hair shaft, and also providing some water resistance, we also see this um, protection from bacteria. Here's where we talked about lubrication of the hair shaft um, and conditioning of the skin, so the stratum corneum layer. Sebaceous follicles um, are those sebaceous glands that are not associated with a hair follicle. So you might see higher collection of these um, on certain areas of the body, including the face, um, which would explain why these surfaces can sometimes be more oily. Okay, that's it for now.